this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can manage your DB user privileges using a different approach, which is called using the secret role binding. So what is a secret role binding? A secret role binding is a Kubernetes custom resource definition, which allows a user to bind a set of roles to a set of users. So using the secret role binding, it's possible to bind various roles for example, AWS roles, GCP roles, MySQL roles, etc., to Kubernetes service accounts. Uh, secret rule binding has three different phases, processing, success, and failed. Once a secret rule binding is successful, it will create a vault policy and policy, policy binding. Here is the YAML of a secret rule binding. So the kind we can see is secret rule binding. I have provided the name and the namespace in the metadata section. In the specs section, we can provide a list of roles uh, and a list of subjects. And these roles will be bounded to these service accounts upon creation of a secret role binding. So let's create a secret role binding. So I have already created a secret engine and a MySQL region role. So I can now create a secret role binding. So I have created a secret role binding which is successful here. And upon successful, it has created a vault policy and a vault policy binding we can see here. So let's check them out. We can see a vault policy. It has created a read-only policy in this particular path. And we can see the vault reference here. And if we also check the vault policy binding, we can see that the vault policy in the vault policy binding, we can see the policy it binds to and the service accounts details here in this section. So in this way, we can provide a service account, some particular policy or some particular permission to read from the vault. And if you want to know more about secret rule binding or keyboard in general, feel free to follow the following URL. Thank you.